It was an intriguing mix of fast cars and cool inventions as Lawrence Tech University held its Grand Prix. The event, which was co-sponsored by the Blue Devil Motorsports Organization, featured racing teams from several colleges who were regular participants on the racing circuit. Teams of Lawrence Tech students were on hand to race the cars that they designed and built for Formula and Baja competitions, as well as Formula hybrid competitions. Uh, today we have the LTU Grand Prix. It's a publicity event that features all the Lawrence Tech competition teams along with other Greek societies and uh, student organizations that are featured at Lawrence Tech's uh, campus. Um, we also, the, the basis behind the Lawrence Tech Grand Prix is to bring other schools um, from around the area to come and compete in, in a fun, friendly co competition um, to, to expose the, the entire Formula SAE series to the public and also to the rest of the student body. As of right now, we have uh, students that go to Lawrence Tech, but we also have teams from Kettering University in Flint, Oakland University, uh, University of Michigan, Dearborn, and hopefully, if they show up, University of Michigan, Ann Arbor. We also have uh, a few industry uh, executives and professionals touring the campus as well. The race spotlighted the latest in technological advancements and unique interior and exterior vehicle design configurations. Um, the Baja vehicle, it's oh, apart from all the uh, SAE counterparts here, we are solely off-road. We don't go on the roads for anything. We are in the woods. We're in mud bogs, we're pulling vehicles, pulling uh, sleds, stuff like that. It's, that's what's unique about it. It's uh, more based around the suspension of the vehicle than the speed of the vehicle. So. What's new and unique about it is we have to bring in new suspension designs. The, in 2009, they brought Fox shocks, which in 2009, we were the only, among the only ones using them. 2010, everybody had them. Um, so it was kind of introducing new technologies to the field. So. Even though the event was a competition, it also afforded student engineers and designers the opportunity to network and compare ideas on vehicle design and construction, as well as learn the nuances of performing as a pit team. Uh, we, we try to use this event uh, just to gain exposure to industry professionals, student body um, that might not even know the, the organization even exists, and we also try to use it as a recruitment tool um, for, for colleges outside of just the engineering college here at Lawrence Tech. We try to incorporate uh, computer science, business, architecture, the art and design, uh, media, graphics, um, all, all the colleges on campus we try to incorporate because um, that's really how well-functioning teams have to operate. The day was also noteworthy in that the technologies seen in the cars are either already featured on the road or will be in the foreseeable future. A lot of the technology that's featured in our Formula Hybrid vehicle is actually based off of an, an evolution of the Chevy Volt, um, where it is a, a true electric vehicle that propels the vehicle, and the only gasoline engine on the car is actually only to power a generator to recharge and fuel the electric motors. So a lot of the, a lot of the alternative energy that the hybrid team you will see in the future, as well as some of the advanced fuel injection and turbo technology we feature on the Formula car. The LTU Grand Prix is one of many events presented by the university that highlights the innovation and design talents of its students. To learn more about upcoming events, visit their website at ltu.org.